All right, so now we're gonna look at phagocytosis. So phagocytosis is basically cell eating, right? A lot of immune cells have this capability and they do it in order to, as they monitor throughout the body through their surveillance in order to keep the body safe, right? So instances where there's a problem and we have some kind of pathogen that is created, right? So if I would draw the pathogen in blue here, so we have this pathogen here that's present. This pathogen causes your own body's defense system to become active. So your own body begins to secrete these special type of proteins called cytokines. Cytokines play in various roles. One specific subcategory of cytokines is called chemokines. So chemokines are these, uh, the special breed of, of cytokines where it allows for the process of mobility. It's called chemotaxis. So chemotaxis basically is where you have the movement of these immune cells that are created from these chemicals, right? So as the cytokines, specifically here the chemokines, are released into the bloodstream, now you have this little chemical trail that is created for the immune cells. So we have, for example, like a phagocyte here. I have a presence of a phagocyte here. The, the phagocytosis is, is coined in five specific maneuvers, right? So the first maneuver here is called chemotaxis. Chemotaxis, where the phagocytic cell, where the phagocytic cell migrates towards the origin of interest, right? Now, because it realizes as it arrives to the location, it begins to develop these pseudopods. Pseudopods are present in order for the, the second process to take place, which is called adherence. So you have number two, which is called adherence. So adherence needs to be created in order for the actual phagocytic cell to be able to bind to that blue pathogen, right? So now, through this process, now you have some kind of adherence of that specific pathogen, right? When this adherence takes place, the phagocyte engulfs it through the process of endocytosis, right? Endocytosis then brings it in and begins the process of digestion, right? So before digestion, we have to ingest it, right? So the third process is ingestion. So they're ingested, so endocytosis, everything comes in, right? And around the body of the macrophage, right, so the cell, you have these special types of hydrolytic organelles called lysosome. So lysosome now, you have this pathogen coming into the bud, into the body of the macrophage, right? So now it's in here. Now they begin to fuse with the lysosome in order to create this new structure here called a phagosome. So a phagosome is created with a combination of the lysosome and the pathogen, right? So here, when we look at it, there's this fusion. This fusion is called the phagosome, right? And this begins the process of digestion. So now number four, you have this digestion taking place. Right? So all of these lysosomes have these hydrolytic enzymes that come in, engulf this pathogen, secrete all of these hydrolytic enzymes to break down the pathogen into less harmful, less infectious ways. And now you have all these little particles that are created from the pathogen here that begin to be engulfed for excretion, right? So now you want this exocytosis phenomenon to take place, right? And so this exocytosis pr pr problem here after you have this digestion, everything is killed now. Everything now in the fifth step is referred to as either killing or excretion. So we'll put excretion of the pathogen of whatever is remained. So now, after breaking down this proteins of all the pathogen, now you just have all this little excrements here outside of the cell, right? And this is the basic overview of phagocytosis.